All right, hello, folks, and welcome back to You Don't Know Jack, the 2015 edition. We're set. Today's going to kick uh, off the first of our triple, last triple header day like of our last week of You Don't Know Jack. It's about one of the five episodes in a week to finish this off. Go back into the office to get it. Or second last week. Excuse me. All the security guards dressed up like us, shouting our catchphrases. Today we're doing the Vatican gift shop. Do you think that that's how your costume is supposed to look? Really, you do. So I played this with somebody, and uh, we all got to the scores for fun a long time ago. Let's see what we do this time. Hi, I'm Cookie, and I'm on the caveman diet in that I only consume hilarious BC comic strips. Playing alone, are we? Don't worry, I'm here. And today's wrong answer of the game is brought to you by... The Vatican Gift Shop. Our prices are infallible. Mention the Pope and get an additional 10% off. Try to choose the wrong answer brought to you by our sponsor to get prizes and cash. Okay, let's not waste any more I'm time. I'm not a Catholic, so that's going to be hard. So I haven't gotten it before. One. Let's start with Dissecting High School Musical. Where are Zac Efron's nephrons? In his brain, in his heart, in his kidneys, or in his stomach? You sell hearts, uh, brains, stomachs, kidneys. The nephrons are the basic components of your kidneys, responsible for filtering your blood and removing the waste. In other words, nephrons make pee. In right, fact, good. I have some of Zac Efron's nephrons here in this jar. Nope, no, 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 wait. Yeah, they, they just turned back into Matthew Perry's nephrons after he learned how to love his wife again. I have no idea what that means, folks. Take a good look at the slimmest shady. If Eminem held a charity run in Detroit, he called the M dash on the eight mile. What might it look like on the poster? This symbol on the eight mile, this symbol on the eight mile, this symbol on the eight mile, or this symbol on the eight mile. I'm gonna have to backslash your score. The correct answer is. An M dash is a mark of punctuation used to indicate a break of thought and looks like this. Kind of a long hyphen. I couldn't dash for eight miles. I tried to run a five mile dash once and almost ended up in a comma. Dance with me, disco. Third lane, my friend. Say hello to Black Snack Moan. And it's time for my favorite treat shaped like Pac Man. Cookie fortune, cookie fortune, cookie fortune, cookie messes Sheep like Pac-Man, huh? Okay, I see it now. Alrighty, let's check it out. Life begins at 30. Hmm, well, by that logic, who would never have been born? Jimi Hendrix, Marilyn Monroe, John Lennon, or Elvis Presley? Um... I want to say Jimi Hendrix. Rock legend Jimi Hendrix was 27 when he died. Life begins at 30, yet the only birth certificate Barack Obama can show is when he was a baby. Where's your 30-year-old birth certificate, Obama? Where is it? Let's try Ain't No Valley Greasy Enough. So, you know how when you go to Burger King and order the kids' meal, they give you one of those cool cardboard crowns to wear? Well, say Burger King opens a location in the Valley of the Kings. Instead of cardboard crowns, what might they start giving out with their kids' meals? Cardboard Pharaoh staffs, cardboard Pope hats, cardboard Julius Caesar masks, or cardboard Chinese emperor beards? Hateful stuff from the Vatican. Want to see the right answer? Got the Valley it. of the Kings is a valley on the west bank of the Nile where many of the pharaohs of ancient Egypt were buried, including King Tut. 
I don't have to re record artifacts from the ancient pyramids, but if they remove a single patty from my BK triple stacker, then there will be hell to pay. Well, you're not infallible. You'll smell like you are with New Pope Smell Cologne from the Vatican Gift Shop. All coffee mugs now 16% off. This wrong answer of the game has netted you an extra 4,000. Congratulations. Coming up next, I'm overalls it, and it's time to snap into a dis or dat. I'm gonna list off seven animated characters, and for each one, I want you to tell me if the character usually wears overalls or doesn't wear overalls. If the character wears overalls, okay. press the square button. If the character doesn't wear overalls, press the circle button. Let's give it a shot, folks. Cool, let's do it. Super Mario. Yes. Foghorn Leghorn. Handy Smurf. Eric Cartman. Roger Rabbit. Popeye. Stewie Griffin. Oh, almost perfect. You just had a baby gap in there. I think it's high time we brought overalls back as a sensible and respected fashion choice for people other than farmers, train engineers, and Justin Bieber. Or Katie Tigers. That's all we got for round one. And you've got a decent score there. Don't screw it up. Remember, in round two, every question is worth double. Well, no time like the present. Here's a good one. Everyone here is in big trouble. Guys, if you don't get your acts together and shape up, I'm gonna have to show you what's what. You hear me? You're gonna find out what's what. Sorry about that. Anyway, unrelated. Um, what's what? An interrogative pronoun, a prepositional verb, a possessive conjunction, or an indefinite article. Honestly, I'm, I'm not even sure if that's a thing. Where's that confounded right answer? What, like who, whom, and which is I an about interrogative that. pronoun? You see? See what y'all made me do? You made me ask a grammar question. Questionable. <laughs> that is what was a pronoun. Sorry. This is your fault, guys. I thought it was like an adjective. <laughs> I don't remember it either. That was a long time ago. I call this one low emission rock. If ACDC went on a solar powered reunion tour, what should they change their name to for the tour? AC, DC, CC, or AD? Solar pen, solar, huh? You should see your way out. <laughs> this would have worked. Folks. Solar cells convert sunlight into direct current electricity, or DC, oh, nice. but not into alternating current electricity, or AC, which is what comes from a power plant. So only the DC part of their name would apply. AC-DC uses a lot of power, but the most energy inefficient rock band has to be electric light orchestra. Follow me down to the sea. Here we have Cryer Tuck. If two and a half men actor John Cryer really couldn't stop crying, which character should he audition for in the next Alice in Wonderland movie? Dormouse, Mad Hatter, Mock Turtle, or Griffin? I don't Mock Turtle? Who? <laughs> hey, when is a raven like a writing desk? I'll just let you ponder that for a moment while I take a bunch of your money. <laughs> next time, try this. Mock Turtle is a melancholy I thought it was character mock that turtle, constantly I said, has no. tears in his eyes, presumably because he believes Gosh, he was once a real turtle, or that he'll be made into soup or something. If you want to know what that feels like to cry non-stop, just watch the episode of Two and a Half Men where the kid graduates high school. <gasps> oh, we saw him age all those years. <laughs>
Take a stab at whatever floats your oat. I was thinking Captain Crunch is getting pretty old to still be in the military. He should be getting pretty soggy know, by right? now. If Captain Crunch lost his crunch and got demoted to the lowest naval officer rank, what would his serial then be called? Admiral Crunch, Ensign Crunch, Lieutenant Crunch, or Major Crunch? Major. Let this be a lesson to you. What? Ready for this? Ensign is the lowest officer rank, or rate, as it's called in the U.S. Navy. I thought they asked for the as second long as they lowest. Don't count chocula, it's fine with me. Oh Don't no, they did. I. They're my. Chocula. I thought he said second lowest. So that's why I was. Gonna, if I knew that, I was gonna say ensign. Gosh darn it! This one's called pining away. Somebody had flowers delivered to me, but it doesn't say who they're from. They're from me, Danny. One's made of skin, one's made of wood, so who's the dummy? Not me! Thanks for the flowers, Billy. What's a special occasion? Oh, can a guy dye his best friends and flowers for no reason? Yeah, he can, but we're not best friends, Billy. I broke the windshield of your Duoclis Seder. What? Ah, uh, if these flowers I gave Cookie caused him to change like the name character in Flowers oh, for no. Algernon, what's gonna happen to this Dunny? He'll stay a Dunny, he'll start as a Dunny, then a Dutch, not a Dunny. He'll be a Dunny, then not a Dunny, then a Dunny again. Or he'll stay a Dunny, then everyone will think he's a genius. <laughs> Not a trotlin for you, obviously. Watch how easy this is. In the story Flowers for Algernon, a new serum makes a done guy snort, but then he becomes done again like this dunny. Billy, these flowers you brought me smell like you dipped them in raw sewage. Really? That's you know what? Hmm. I, I have seen that now that I... Holy snow. crap, back in like junior high or middle school. Yeah. Now that I think about it, man, my brain didn't got that until later. Welcome to the I, attack. Gosh darn it! When you see two clues, I hate it when something press the X button. I got a two thousand bucks. Yeah, um, right. Bunch of scrambled files in my memory wrong. bank. Oh, do you need to be somewhere? My yes. mistake. Here's your clue. Don't quote me on that. What movies are these famous quotes from? Don't quote me on that. According to the mark. The king of the world! That's uh, the, the, the um, Titanic. <laughs> ah, good and big, babe. Why so serious? I don't know. Well, there's a lot of movies I'm sure that could have that quote in it. Johnny Carson? Night show? Uh. Or not? Dang it! Don't even want to hear him like this. But then you'll sound like you should flip these. Don't remember Argo. Same pressure. There we go. Maybe this is some hard go.
That's all she wrote! Not good, folks. Another negative score. Like the quotes is that they last forever. Just like that one, uh, one bite. Uh, so I got the correct, wrong answer again. I forgot, but it was from Gremlins 2, the new batch. Somebody text me if you figure it out. You don't know Jack! Alright, join us for our second uh, episode of Triple Header, episode 42. Next time, later today, on... You don't know Jack is where you're doing this shit.